Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you video or video editing in Reaper. And I'm starting off with a new project. Let's create a new track. As I mentioned earlier, any track in Reaper can contain any media. It can be audio, MIDI, or video. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on video. So let's add some video. We'll go up here to the Insert menu and choose Media File. Or we can just go to our hard drive and drag and drop it into our project. On PC, it's the Explorer, and on Mac, it's the Finder. And here's a video file we can use. We'll drag it in to our timeline and just drop it. And now we have a video in our project. Now, if there was audio on the file, we would see it here, but there isn't any. So if we play it, we're not going to hear anything. But if we want to see the video, we need to open up the video window. Go to the View menu and choose Video. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut right over here. That opens up the video window. So if we play it, now we see our video. Now to work with video, I prefer to put this window on the top of our screen. So let's right click it and choose Attach Docker Position to Top. That puts the video up here. Then I'm also going to add the big clock over to the right side. Go to View and choose Big Clock. And we'll change the clock by right clicking to hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Makes more sense for video. And we'll do the same thing in our ruler. Right click, hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Now let's drag in some audio to go with it. Right here, some music. Drag and drop it into our project. Now with snapping, Turned on, we can snap our items to each other. They're going to snap so the starts are the same. Let's see what we have. Now I want to add a fade to the beginning. Go to the upper left corner and drag this over to create a fade. Then let's right click the fade to choose a different shape. This is going to create a slower fade in. And I want to do the same thing with our video. Create the fade right here, make it the same length. But if you notice, it didn't fade in. Because with video files, we need to add a plugin to this track so that our fades are recognized. Let's go to the effects on the video track and choose the video processor, which looks like this. There's a bunch of presets that come with it. I'm not going to go through them in this video, but I've made a bunch of other videos on the Reaper website that go into more detail on these presets the basic helpers, the effects, and the transitions. Let's keep it simple and just choose Item Fades Effect Video. And what that's going to do is going to recognize this fade and fade the video in, like this. Now let's create some edits. Let's go over here by a kick drum and create an edit right over here. We can move our scrubber right to our kick. And let's put a marker right here. Type M. Then we're going to find a frame in the video to edit to. Let's mute the audio and drag it over to find a good frame. Right about here, kind of a cool frame to use. So let's split the video 
right here. Let's move it to a marker. So it'll play in time with our music. Let's first turn on trim content behind media items when editing, which is going to trim the video over here as we place this video on top of it. Let's also turn off the crossfades. So it won't create a crossfade when we drag it over. So let's move it right to our marker. And let's see what happens. It made an edit right at that point. And to make it work with the music, let's duplicate it to the other kick drums coming up. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and drag it over right to there. Put another one over here and here. And right over here on this downbeat, I want to switch to a different video. Put the scrubber right there. Create a marker. Let's import another video. Let's create a new track. Go to our hard drive. Let's drag in this video. We can drop it right in the cursor. And it's going to play right in this kick. Now, the way video is handled in Reaper, it can only play one track at a time, unlike audio. So it's going to choose to play the track with the higher number first. This is track two, and this is track one, as long as there's video on that track. Otherwise, it'll play track one. So this track is going to have priority over this one, like this. <laughs> And if track two no longer has video, it's going to play track one. Now I'm noticing in this video, there's already a few edits we can use. Check it out. But they're not in time with the music. So let's move them so they are. We'll mute the audio. Let's scrub to find the edit. Right there. Let's split the video and then move it to a kick drum. Right here. Just drag it. And once again, let's duplicate it to the next kick drum. And in this downbeat, let's go on to the next edit. Right here, split it and move it to the kick drum. And the same thing for this edit. Split it. Let's move it to this kick. And duplicate it for the other kicks. Now let's see what we have. And then right over here on the downbeat, let's split it and delete this piece. So it'll go back to this track, track one. So now our edits are running the beat with our music. Now let's create a fade out. Go right here, let's make it three seconds, and let's split the music and fade that as well. 
And now it fades out. Let's also create a cross fade from this video to this one. Because right now, it's a hard edit. Let's have this video fade out and this video fade in. Create a split right here and fade it out and fade this one in. Let's see that. But it's still a hard edit. Because we need to add that effect right here to this track as well. So let's drag it from here to here to duplicate it. And now the fades are going to be recognized for video. So this track is going to fade out into this one, or they're going to cross fade like this. <laughs> It's a nice effect. Then also, at the end over here, right on the downbeat of this bar, right here, let's change the zoom on this video. Let's split it right here. Up to here. And now, just for this item, let's add a different effect. Hit Shift E to open the effects just on this item. And we'll choose the video processor. Let's choose the preset track opacity, zoom, and pan. We'll put the cursor right here. Change the zoom to be closer. Move the X offset and the Y. So he's still in frame. And it'll give the impression that we use a different camera over here. Let's see that. And then it shifts back afterwards. So let's see what we have. Looks pretty good. So that's the basics of video editing in Reaper. Doing hard edits like these, some crossfades, and fading in and fading out with video. So that's video or video editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Oh!